We're back at 611 and happening today, the Kansas City Fire Department is getting a new tool that could save your pet's life in an emergency. Yeah, Sarah Hollenbeck joins us live right now to explain how these pet oxygen masks work. And Sarah, I should say you are joining us with Eddie Hollenbeck as well. I am. Lucky dog that he gets to demonstrate all this fun stuff. Now, this is something that a lot of fire departments simply don't have. So it's pretty cool that the Kansas City Fire Department is getting this. Right now in an emergency, they would use this human mask on your dog to try and give them oxygen. Obviously, it doesn't really fit well. He has a lot of space there. So this is now a pet mask. And what I can do is slide this over Eddie's face. And as you can see, it fits very snug on him and would really give him the oxygen that he needs in an emergency. So the Kansas City Fire Department is getting three of these donation kits today. And James Garrett with the Kansas City Fire Department says that people sometimes dart back into burning houses to save their animals. So as you can see in this video, firefighters do the best they can to revive animals with human oxygen tools, but it doesn't always work. Well, Blue Springs resident Sheila Turner made today's donation possible. She's both a dog owner and also has a close tie to firefighters. The father of her children died while on duty with the Kansas City Fire Department. When somebody from the community just steps in and says, here, here's some money out of my pocket, it means something. Now, if you want to get one of these in your neighborhood, the company Invisible Fence here in Kansas City is partnering with local residents to make this happen. And when a local resident raises the funds to put one of these in their community, then they make sure that that particular donation goes to the fire station of their choice. So it's really a cool program. Should help save a lot of pets in the metro. Reporting live, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News. I'm glad to see that's coming to KC, but I think Eddie's trying to tell you he's got plenty of oxygen so far. <laughs> I think you're right. Poor guy. But at least it demonstrates just how snug these really do fit over their faces compared to the human masks. Yeah. Absolutely. Not again, Mommy. <laughs> I know. He's like, Mom, stop. <laughs> stop embarrassing me on TV. Being on TV is TV. not worth it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sarah.